Earl Connor's been defying the odds for a long time. Born without a left fibula, his leg was amputated when he was just three months old. Still growing up, he played all the sports, and his decision to become a sprinter was fueled by watching the 1996 Summer Paralympics. But going after a third para gold this summer in London at age 36? You know, that fire's still within my belly, and uh, in knowing that I still had that ability to represent Canada one last time, and hopefully come back from London with a gold medal. The, the opportunity was too strong to pass up. So I uh, sat down with my wife and my coach and we decided to give it one more, uh, one more kick at the cat, so to speak. Your coach, Les Gramantic, has been through you through uh, thick and thin. What do you say about the idea? Uh, when I first met with Les and uh, we discussed the, uh, the opportunity or the thought of coming back for London, uh, he smiled pretty wide. Uh, we've had a really great, strong relationship for the last 14, 15 years. And you know what, one more gold medal together can't hurt. Veteran track coach Les Gromantic has been at Connor's side through the good and the not so good times. He still thinks there's gold to be mined by his athlete. The rest of the world hasn't been running much faster in the last couple of years since he kind of stopped training. And I think the decision came by this fall, say, why don't we try to get a third Olympic mm -hmm. gold medal? And that's the, that's the plan. He'll be 36 come London, though. That's not young for a sprinter. Heck, that's not young for, for, a, for an athlete at all. What concessions are you guys make into the advancing years, if any? I guess the biggest challenge is right now to manage the workload with regard to recovery. And then for amputee athletes through the years, I learned that uh, recovery is a different pattern. Like he can train exactly the same way as an able body does, but there are different recovery mm -hmm. patterns. If Earl Connor is successful in earning a third Paralympic sprint gold medal this summer in London, England, it'll be a nice reward for an athlete who has overcome more than his share of obstacles along the way.